right, so when I first spoke to Ford President Mike Breen when we first met, I asked him, when are they going to bring the Maverick in? You know the Maverick, it's a small pickup truck with all those boxy proportions. And he told us that Filipinos really love their trucks. And we really do. Now, he told us that the Maverick doesn't have a space in the Philippine market, but they brought something even better. What's going on guys, we're Robles here from zigwheels.ph and yes, you've been waiting for this review for a long time and so have I. This is the Ford Ranger XLT. Alright, so I've mentioned the Maverick heavily throughout this video, but there's a reason why. It's got those boxy proportions, those C-shaped headlamps. That's exactly what this does have. It's got full LED headlamps, that C-shaped DRLs, and yeah, you've got halogen fog lamps right here, but that's no problem. Again, it creates some sort of contrast, especially when running down on the road at night. You got this chrome strip that runs across this huge grill. It's got this huge hood right here, and under that, you've got your four-cylinder diesel engine engine and which we'll talk about later during the drive. I really love this look. I mean, I was asking for the Ford Maverick to come in. Instead, they gave me this and I'm one happy little camper. Now heading over to the side profile of the all new Ford Ranger, you'd see how it differs from the previous model. For starters, it's boxier, it's heavier looking, it's even more macho. It can even compare it to the Ford Ranger Raptor of the previous generation. You got those 17 inch alloy wheel shot and 255 wide tires, give it a more macho looking rugged appeal, which makes you think that you can take this off road, but those are actually highway rated tires. So yeah, you might want to take this more out to the highway instead of, you know, off roading, but you can definitely do that in a pinch. Just don't go there intentionally. It's got 235 millimeters of ground clearance plus 800 millimeters of weighting capacity. Now because of that 235 millimeter ground clearance, you definitely need this step board right here. Even for someone such as myself with 5 foot 10 and a half, you definitely need a step board because it's something that's really high up. One detail that I really love is another step board. It's right there at the rear. So instead of having to put the tailgate down, you can actually just step on that and get into the bed using that step board. It's a really nice detail that I love. Now I might as well call this truck SpongeBob SquarePants because you can definitely see all the boxy proportions continue on to the rear. First of all, you got this Ranger iconography that's really stamped throughout the entire tailgate at the bottom right there. Plus it's got this nice angular and boxy details that I really love. You still have this chunky step board right there. You got this square shaped tail lamps and gives you access to all this space right here. This whole bed actually can fit an entire cargo pallet. It just gives you an idea of what you can actually fit right here. It's a boxy, almost kind of like, you know, proportioned look right here. So if you need to put in more stuff, this space here is definitely optimized for all your things. All right, by the way, this tailgate is not power operated. So if you need to do your curls for the day, if you haven't gone to the gym, you can definitely use this right here. All right, so that's enough of that. Let's take a look at the inside. All right, so inside the Ford Ranger XLT is where you'll definitely know that this is not your dad or your Tito's truck. Because what you see right here is definitely a very postmodern kind of interior. First of all, you got your touchscreen infotainment system right here. It's about 10 inches right there. It's pretty much like a tablet and it's situated in a way that it has a portrait style. Definitely like a, like a smartphone, so it's easier for you to navigate through the system. But what I love, what I really love about this and what I went crazy over is the wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. I've never been in a car before that had wireless Android Auto. So what happened was that I actually forgot my USB cable. So I went ahead and just connected it with the Bluetooth. And I was surprised that it actually prompted me to activate Android Auto. So I went ahead and did the instructions as usual and there you go. Plus this touchscreen infotainment system has absolutely no lag to it at all. It actually really feels like a tablet. And that's amazing to me guys. That's, a, that's really something else. You also have wireless charging right here and a USB-C plus a USB-A port. So it's definitely future proof and it's easy for you to actually integrate your phone right here. So that's that to me, those small details are just amazing. Everything is hard touch plastic, which is par for the course, especially for a pickup truck, especially you're gonna use this more for off-roading or for 
for work purposes so you don't have to put anything fancy to it but on the door panels you do have this soft touch leather material which i really love so you got these large cup holders of course plus you have another smaller item right here for your coins and doodads you got your manual climate control this is the xlt model if you want to get automatic climate control you'll have to move up to the wild track which we'll be reviewing next time so if you notice a steering wheel, it's definitely chunky looking. It's leather wrapped. It also is adjustable for both reach and rake. And it doesn't just reach out shortly. It's definitely something that's very substantial. So getting your optimum driving position is easy. You got your manual seats right here. We can lower and increase the height, move it back and forth, and even lean forward and back. Easy. So yeah, it's a nicely sculpted interior here. And I gotta say, it's not one of those run of the mill basic kinds of interior. It's nicely sculpted. I even like the piano black, All right guys? The piano black implementation on this car on the dashboard is really tastefully done. Plus it's in the areas where you don't usually touch right here. Plus the touchscreen infotainment system is so lag free. You don't actually have to rest your hands anywhere else. It's, <laughs> I, love, I really am crazy over this. If you leave me with a, even with a entry level truck and get this touchscreen infotainment system, I'd be happy with that. You got another screen right here for the dash. You got digital display clusters. One interesting quirk about the gauge cluster there is you can actually add a secondary speedometer and it shows you miles per hour. You can go full American in this one. So you got your shifter right here as well. On top of your shifter, you got, well, we got some blank buttons there, but you've got the button in order to turn off your stability control as well as your drive mode selector. So that's basically everything that I've noticed in the front end right here. Let's check out the back and see what's what. All right, so right here in the back, it's really par for the course for a pickup truck. I'm sitting behind my optimum driving position and I still have enough room for my knees and my feet and my legs but you're seated in an upright position right here. There aren't even any you know, air con vents here or USB ports, but what you do get is a 12 volt socket. You do, do have map pockets right here as well and some really substantial grab handles, but that's basically it. Let's head on over to the most important part of this review. Let's see how it test drives. All right, so we're now behind the wheel of the Ford Ranger XLT 4x2. First things first, under the hood, you've got a two liter single scroll turbocharged diesel engine. It's a four cylinder engine, by the way, and it makes 168 horsepower and 405 newton meters of torque. So what does that mean? Oh, this thing can really pull. <laughs> Acceleration comes along in a brisk pace, but it's linear. So you don't, won't get jarred whenever you hit the pedal powering the rear wheels is a six speed automatic transmission. Now you get the 10 speed in the top of the line model, but I gotta say, this six speed is buttery smooth, guys. You won't even notice those ship shocks at all. Plus, the way that it drives, it definitely gives you all the power and torque you need for a particular situation. Speaking of situation, this thing has four drive modes. You've got normal, eco, tow and haul, as well as slippery. All right, so suspension wise, you've got a double wishbone suspension up front. It's not McPherson, it's double wishbone. And in the back, you've got leaf springs, typical for a truck, but Ford was able to engineer this to make it as smooth and as comfortable as possible. The way this was made, wow, almost feels car-like. Take note, almost, all right? It's not really as smooth as a car, but it actually is a lot better than your regular old truck. NVH levels are great. It really helps with isolating yourself from the outside world. I mean, we're passing through this town area where you got a lot of motorcycles, tricycles moving along, such as that one, but you can actually barely hear it from the inside. Even road noise, because of the 17 inch alloy wheels, you get higher series tires. And that actually helps out when going down the highway. It's, it's more comfortable that way. And this is a diesel truck. You can even barely hear the diesel engine that's outside. Good job, Ford. Fuel economy. All right. Being a diesel truck and a four-cylinder, two-liter one at that, 
I never really expected that we'd be at this point where you have a big hulking machine such as this one. You still get great fuel economy. In the city, you get around 8 kilometers per liter. And once you get out on the highway, you can reach about 15 to 16 kilometers per liter. And that's what me not thinking about fuel economy at all. Safety features include six airbags, you got traction control, you got hill start assist, the basic stuff, the ABS with electronic brake force distribution. If you're looking for the advanced driver assist systems uh, that Ford has been uh, really flaunting, especially in those press releases, you won't find that here. You'd only find that in the top of the line wild track model, but at least Ford did a great job with giving this the best of the basics. It's a, it's a great package, it's a great choice if you do choose this one as your regular car. So let's talk about price. Now the thing about pickup trucks is that they enjoy a particular tax break in the Philippine market. So what companies do is that they take advantage of that and make sure that they put all the nice things that you'd find in the SUV variants and put it in the truck and also price it at a very low price point. Get this, one million, 374,000 pesos for the XLT model and I gotta say that's definitely a compelling buy because if you want to get an, an SUV perhaps with all the same features that you'd find in this truck the XLT 4x2 you'd probably be paying 1.7 1.8 million just because it didn't reach the tax break but one thing's for sure though nothing's really gonna beat you know, you coming to a party or going to the office in a big badass truck because especially in this blue lightning color, <laughs> it's, just, it's something else guys. You have to test drive this or experience this to understand what I'm trying to say about this. This is definitely an emotional purchase that you want to make sure. So that's my review of the Ford Ranger XLT 4x2. But before I give you my final thoughts, here are three things I don't like and three things I love about this truck. The first thing that I think the XLT 4x2 can improve upon are the safety features. I mean, I'm sure that those advanced safety features are available in the top of the line wild track, but given how Ford really vaunts and really is so proud about how those features work, I wish they made it standard even on the XLT. Now the second thing that I wish the XLT had are more power features. Now like I said about the Wild Trek, I'm sure those power features are available there, but I wish that Ford Philippines gave the XLT some love with giving a little bit of that at least on this variant. And the last thing that I wish the XLT had, well, a little bit more macho features. I mean, not to be a little bit more tacky or that so, but I wish it had a wider stance, bigger wheels, but you got to set your expectations straight. This is the mid-range variant and you definitely get what you're going to pay for for this truck. Now that I've picked all the nits I can find on the Ford Ranger XLT 4x2, here are three things I absolutely love about this truck. So the first thing I love about this truck is the engine and transmission. Now it's just a single scroll turbo, but the two liter turbocharged engine definitely gives you enough grunt and power to go barreling down the road even with a thousand kilograms worth of load right there in the back so that's just pretty much amazing and is an improvement from the previous generation the second thing i love about the ford ranger xlt is right here i mean look at it it looks so aggressive it looks so macho i mean Maverick what? You've got the Ford Ranger right here and it looks amazing. The looks alone is simply a winner in my book. And the third and last thing I love about this truck, it's the touchscreen infotainment system. It comes in a portrait orientation, very tablet-like, very modern. Plus, the Ford Sync 4A system offers wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, which easily syncs with your phone the minute you start that engine. And that alone, with this truck is just total game changer guys and that's our review of the ford ranger xlt 4x2 the first ford ranger that we'll be reviewing in many months to come but i think this opening salvo is a real banger but what do you guys think drop me a comment in the comment section down below and while you're at it subscribe to our channel and hit that notification icon so you wouldn't miss any of our videos once again, this is Roy Robles from ZigWheels.ph. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.